Hi there, this is Asaf from Opinion Stage. It used to be possible to create polls on Facebook using the internal Facebook poll option in your stream and in your page, but now Facebook only allows you to do that in a group. In addition, the native Facebook poll functionality is very limited. In this video, I'll show you how with Opinion Stage, you can create beautiful polls full of features and customizations that you can then use in Facebook. Let's start. So with Opinion Stage, you can either create a poll from scratch from over here or with a template. Let's start by looking at a few templates. So here's a, an example of a simple template, questions and answers. Here's another example. In this case, I can select multiple answers. And here is an image poll, very engaging. And here is another image, this time rounded image poll. Like you can see, we have a lot of different layouts for you to select from. All beautiful and very engaging. And lastly, a thumbnail poll. Okay, so if you like one of these templates, all you need to do is click Use Template. That will copy the item to your um, repository, and then you can make all the changes you want and publish. But let's say you want to create a poll from scratch. I'll go to Create New and Poll. And I'm going to ask, what is your favorite Italian food? You can add a description, select the layout. Let's add an image. And like you can see, I can search. I can also change the permissions so I know I can use the images. Let's say I like this image. And we'll add a few answers. Pizza, pasta, salad, and other. All you need to do is click Create. And that's as easy as it goes. You can click Preview to see that you like the poll. Now let's say you want to configure this poll a little bit. So we have tons of features and customizations, such as allowing the user to display more than one option, displaying a message after vote, blocking repeat voting, hiding results from users, allowing the user to change the vote, hide the number of votes, close the poll at a specific time. You can integrate a lead form inside, asking for the name and the email or any other field you like and associating that with the answers. You can also change the designs, the color, the font, the top border, all, all the way down to CSS Override to really match it to your brand. You can integrate with social, adding Facebook comments, uh, Twitter, uh, social sharing bar with eight different social networks. You can integrate with your marketing automation and a lot of other things. But I think for now, uh, that's kind of um, a good sense of what can be done with Opinion Stage. Now, let's say you like this poll. The next step would be to add it to your Facebook. So we're going to go to Embed and Share over here. And then we're going to select the Share link. You can either copy the link and paste it in your Facebook stream, or you can click the Facebook icon, which is what I'll do. This will, um, in a moment, offer you to select where you want to share it on Facebook. Uh, you can either share it in your personal page, um, or you can share it um, over here in, let's say, a page you manage. And I'm going to do it in Opinion Stage. and post to Facebook, and in a moment we'll see that you'll be able to see it over here. And I'll just reload the page. And here is your poll. Now, after the users start voting, you'll get a dashboard to see the results. Um, this is an example of a dashboard. And you're ready to go. So as you can see with Opinion Stage, creating a beautiful poll is super easy and fast. You can also create very advanced polls with all the features you need. Thanks for watching this short introduction video and enjoy creating polls.